The ice cream truck breaks the silence on Westfield's Bowden Street. The driver usually makes a nightly stop near the Strickland home as the neighborhood kids line up for an evening treat. This is just it's that kind of neighborhood. It's through here every other night, uh, you know, during the whole summer. The kids all look forward to it. That's usually when we would see them. But on this night, the lights are out at number 36. The neighbors tell us everything from the welcome sign near the mailbox to the manicured landscape never told the story of what might have been going on inside. It seemed like a completely normal family. That's, as you can tell, everybody around here, is, we seem kind of in shock a little bit. Holly Strickland and her husband Jason lived in this house for the past six years with their two daughters and little boy. My son does a gymnastics class at the dance academy that their middle daughter goes to. So we saw her sometimes in the parking lot of there, but it was all different classes and stuff. The girls started dancing at our studio about five years ago. They just received their five-year award um, this past May at our recital. Dancing ignited a passion in this 11-year-old girl and her little sister, but the older one really fell in love with the quick steps and rhythm. She was a, a, a pretty good tap dancer. Haley was, was good. She did a little tap solo um, about two years ago. And you didn't have to see this little girl dance to understand the lasting impression she left on those around her. She was a great kid. She was, you know, always smiling. Um, you know, we'd, we'd joke around with her. Um, she was just a, a, a pleasure, a pleasure to have in class. So memories now try to focus on the good times, the pictures of a young child dancing toward her dreams. They weren't just another dancer. They were part of our family. And um, we're going to really, you know, miss them.